Hey, hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your first week in April 2019. This is good for your sun, moon, and rising. And this is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. And remember, if you're cross-watching, energies are interchangeable. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Scorpio. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the week. Great card to get, Scorpio. The Four of Wands. This is fire energy. It's celebration. The completion of a stage and getting results. There's good times. This is an extremely positive card. You'll get to enjoy life and reap rewards. And there's something new that's coming soon. A happy time and success. You could be celebrating something like a coming marriage or a romance. It's celebrating a harvest. It's taking time to pause and relax. It's a pause in activities and a tranquil time of rest, a holiday. It's a time of relaxation and maybe creating a foundation. It heralds prosperity arrival. This could be purchasing a new home. You could be putting down roots, moving in together. Could be celebrating a housewarming, maybe even a graduation. This is being happy and triumphant, feeling liberated and sociable. You're reaching a milestone, enjoying festivities and your home. So celebrate your accomplishments. You've had success in your journey. And now take time to honor your hard work. Your second card. And this is the energy crossing over your path. The Wheel of Fortune, Scorpio. Number 10 in the Major Arcana of the Rider Waite deck. This is governed by the four elements... Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. Fixed signs. Has to do with destiny and fate. This is a karma card. Has to do with chance and opportunities. Their success. It could be an unexpected turn of luck. A change of fortune for the better. It's new conditions. This is creative evolution within the laws of chance. A new chapter starting. Destiny and fortune and elevation and luck. As the wheel turns, life changes, nothing ever stays the same, and events will turn around in some fashion, and this situation will change of its own accord. It is now beyond your control. Could be surprises, a gift that goes beyond reason and logic. You could be recognizing the effect of past lives on the present, experiencing a change in your circumstances that's usually positive and accepting the course of events, and taking advantage of good timing. You might be putting your plans into motion, and getting results. This is something that's been put into motion, and now you have little or no control, so you must accept the forces of destiny, and align yourself with their aims. It will promote your growth and advancement, and it's a reminder that every period of intense activity must be followed by a fallow time of rest and inactivity. This is a turning point, a new phase, the need to make an important decision or even a totally unexpected circumstance developing that will change your life. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Seven of Cups, Scorpio. This is water energy. It has to do with choices and your imagination. 
fantasy, and illusion. There could be confusion here with these options, but there is great creative potential. Many options are available, so we have difficulty choosing. This is the gambler card, so only do what is 100% secure. There may be someone around you that's not totally truthful to you, so let your feelings guide you. They use multiple choices. Think before jumping in. This can also represent brainstorming, altered states, could be drug use. You may have so many options available to you that indecision will prevent you from choosing anything. You could have your head in the clouds. Dreaming of all that could be is keeping you from focusing on the here and now and preventing forward progress. So shake things up to recognize other paths you can take. This also represents altered states of consciousness, mind-altering chemicals, dreaming and visualization. It is good to dream and experiment, but make sure your fantasies are not blocking you from development. A choice has to be made, and much care and consideration needs to be devoted to it. One of the cups needs to be chosen and worked with, otherwise dreams and ideas will just remain castles in the clouds. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Page of Pentacles, Scorpio. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is Earth energy. Could be a communication of stability, an offer. This is someone that is fascinated and there's introspection here and interest. As a person, this person's attitude suggests he desires money. He's goal-oriented, could be bringing good news about your worldly ambitions. This could be a student. They have respect for learning. It's someone that moves slowly. They're absorbed. They're practical and cautious. This could be a new job or a project, a new investment, new studies. As a person, they would be youthful and dependable and practical and they're willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. This is a loyal friend and gives good advice. He seems solemn and scholarly, but he's willing to work hard to learn about what interests them so very much. Pages can be children, or the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. This is love of material things, a good card to start a new business, an opportunity to make money, starting at the bottom but with plenty of promise for the future. This is an unexpected new start, a trigger point, being productive. You might find something. This is someone that wants to know the nature of things and how they work. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ace of Wands, Scorpio. Fire energy. Here's more of that new beginning stuff. Wands are also called rods, clubs, and staves. They represent action and animation and constant renewal and growth. Has to do with ideas and creation. This is pure creativity and inspiration. It's conception and birth. This card represents ignition. A new beginning of enterprise or business and arts or finance. This is high passion in relationships. So be open for the new. It's a way out of hard times. It's a spark of inspiration. A gift from life. A positive new beginning. New opportunity. A seed to be nurtured. A bright new idea. A burst of creative energy and a source of inspiration. There'll be excitement and enthusiasm and energy for something new. So be courageous. This is new life both literally and metaphorically. So be open for the new way out of hard times. In the love reading, this is high passion and excitement and fun. In career, look for opportunities to be creative. With all aces, this new opportunity must be grasped in order to come to fruition. This is such great potential for wonderful successes. You may have started something new or you're working on an old project that will finally bear fruit. 
This is a call to do something actively or to let something happen. And you will find an answer in the doing. So seize the day. And here's your advice from the Oracle Deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Grace and Gratitude Through gratitude, joy expands. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern-day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that the secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood you at every juncture. No matter what twists and turns there are in the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you're experiencing, even if your challenges seem insurmountable, feeling grateful will ease any challenge, replace darkness with light, and allow you to hear the chorus of angels. Your entire life can transform when you take the time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you. Here's your take note moment. Our mind rules us. We must all learn to gain control of our thoughts. We tend to fall victim to our uncontrolled thoughts. These uncontrolled thoughts cause all our problems. So when we have doubts and fear, it's because our mind is ruling us. So every day, bit by bit, take control by becoming aware and think about something good. Refuse to let those negative thoughts take root. Soon good thoughts will come automatically. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.